<laughs> Sorry, Andrew. <laughs> oh dear, working over Andrew's patch, he's said, uh, look, I run 6,000 over Luke, just check if, uh, well, I've left gold behind with the 5,000. We thought that was going to be lead. The other bit was lead. Sorry, Andrew. That's all right, mate. I just snagged a bit of gold off your patch, mate. What are we, 10 minutes in? <laughs> beep, 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 beep. Luke's a good bloke. Beep. <laughs> Oh dear, that's awesome. There's our first bit of gold. Bingo, we're on fire on Andrew's patch. Let's keep going, if he lets us. Oh, something rather interesting just happened. Before we filled the hole in, as we always do, we check over our target, we check over our hole, make sure there's no more gold. Well then, we got another signal, right where we just got that bit of gold out of. So Andrew's gonna dig this one. He's gonna find it with the, uh, the 5,000. We know it's gonna be gold, well, it has to be gold because it's sitting underneath the last piece. So, you sniff him out, mate. You can't hear him. Let's, uh, let's turn on the 6,000. Let's give you a listen with the six. Maybe faintest noise. Faint? Faint, but I think it's more ground. Yeah, all right. Turn off for a sec. I'll turn the 6,000 on. Give you a listen. Andrew said he can hear it with a five, but only very slightly. Bit of ground. I might have to adjust your RX gain and get a bit more sensitivity out of that five, I think. The 6000 definitely is a lot more sensitive though. Let's have a listen. Andrew's going to give him a dig. <laughs> He's on the mission for this one. Yeah, look at that, even cleaned the hole out. He's doing a great job. <laughs> I had a broom, I'd sweep it for you. I was gonna say, I reckon you took too much off. Still gonna get him. He's right. He's sitting. Oh, we're good at that pinpointing. He's sitting right there. The sneaky little devil. So I'll put the coil next to Andrew. That's Andrew's watch. Oh, he's got him straight away. <laughs> it's going to be gold, 100%. Get your, get your pad. Get your pat down, pad. Ah, oh, the old crossover arm trick, eh? Might help by taking the ear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you've got the earmuffs sort of 5,000 on whilst you're running the 6,000. Yeah, yeah. Uh oh, who's ready to see gold? Oh, it's in Andrew's hand! Don't drop it like I did before. It's still in Andrew's hand! That didn't sound good. No, that sounded really good. It's going to be gold. I bet you my bit of gold that that is also going to be gold. No, mine might be bigger. I don't want to lose it. <laughs> <laughs> no, it just means that if it's lead, you uh, you get my bit of gold, and you get to keep the lead. Keep going, keep going. Oh. You're never going to see it. Come on. The day's getting on. We've wasted five minutes already. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh, this we could be here till lunchtime. It's in your hand. Quick. Go, Andrew, go! The quicker you get it out, the bigger it's going to be. Oh. My. God. <laughs> what just happened there, Andrew? Oh, I don't know, mate. I'll let you explain the situation. Luke just lost his gold. I just lost the lead. <laughs> it's definitely lead. I've seen it. It's here somewhere. There it is. Well, mate. Oh, yeah. Thought it might have been because it's so close to the other one. Open your bottle. No, right. no, no, no. Come on, open your bottle. I'm a man of my word. No, no, no. I no. made you a promise. No, no, no. Open your bloody bottle up. You're right, mate. Come on. All right, well, there's gold in the ground there. You better pick it up. I can see it. I can see it. Well, if you can see it, you better pick it up because I'm not putting it back in my bottle. I said I bet you anything that was going to be gold, and well, it wasn't. So, joke's on me. Now I've got to go find my first piece again.
it won't take long. Rightio guys, so here we are down the side of the creek bank once again. This is my favourite spot to work and once again we're getting out the gold. We can't see it, it's in the sandstone, it's trapped in the rock here. But uh, if we have a listen, oh yeah, we've got a big gold nugget hiding in this rock. I said we can't see him just yet, but one for us to bust open when we get home. Uh, we might even break him up right now, just a little bit if we can, just to make him that bit smaller. Hopefully we don't knock the gold out of him. If we do, it's a bonus actually, I suppose. So there we go, he's still in the smaller half there. So a little half for us to put in the pocket and I guarantee that's definitely gonna have gold in it. We'll just check those other pieces and we will of course swing over the hole before we fill it in. So look, awesome stuff, our first bit of gold. We can't see it, as I said, but we will once we get home, crush it up, and I guarantee ya, he's gonna have quite the nugget in him. Awesome, let's keep going. Well, I'm hoping for a big gold nugget on this one. Uh, let's give you a listen to the tone. <laughs> listen to that. So we got him out of the hole already. I'm hoping to see it if I can. Because the last time I heard that sound, we had a big gold nugget down the side of the hill here. We have to be pretty careful today because, uh, yeah, look at the trees. She's pretty hairy day. She's very windy. So we're super careful. Actually forgot the headphones today, which is a bit of a pain, but at least I can hear what's going on, which is nice. Here, if any trees are about to fall on, fall down on top of me. Let's have another listen. We sort of scattered him around a little bit there. We'll just try and collect all that dirt. Get him in the scoop. Where is he? Yeah, we're really throwing him around, haven't we? It's a big target though, so we're not going to lose it. All right, let's get two hands on this situation. Sounds like he's in the middle there somewhere, but we still haven't got him. So two hands on the situation. We'll come back and we're gonna show you what's coming out with that sound. Awesome sound. Right, no one moves. Let's have a look. Somewhere there, let's go another grab. Start throwing her dirt away. All right, we've got him. That sounds nice. It's in the hand. Please be a big chunk of gold, or it could be a bullet shell. Or it could be that. So I have no idea what it is. What is that? It's a bit of something, which is not yellow, it's not gold. So let's get you on to the next. All right, well, first bit of visible gold about to come right up. I don't know how well you can hear that. We've got him in the clod though, down the side of the hill once again. Let's have a bit of a look. We're gonna separate that dirt. All right, so he's in this Smaller half. Oh, it's so, so challenging down the side of the hill here. It really is. Let's break him open. Oh, bingo. Yeah, bingo. I can see him right off the side there. I love it when that happens. Let's give you a look. Before I lose it. Did I lose it? No, I didn't. All right, he's still there. I'm gonna take the glove off. And I'm going to lick it. Not really, I'll just wipe it. There we go, can you see that? Let's see him in there. Because you'll be able to see even better. Our first bit of visible gold. It's actually our third bit of gold that we've dug. The first bit that we lost in a bet. The second bit that's tucked in my pocket in the sandstone. Oh, but there we go, there's our third bit of gold. Only tiny, but that's okay. I'll bust him out of there. Get him out of that dirt and let's bring you back out there. Always check uh, over 
your other dirt. Just make sure there's no other gold hiding. I can't really get the dirt off him all that well. Stuck on the side of a hill here too. But there we go. A little spig of gold. That's number three. Let's keep going. Tink. All right, well, second bit of gold coming right up. It's in the scoop. We've done the hard work. And guess what? We are right beside the last hole that we just dug, where we just got that third bit of gold out of. Right there. We filled our hole in. Actually, it's a little bit below. About there. We filled our hole in, though. We've got a target right beside. Don't know where, how, how well you can hear that. Ooh, ooh, ooh. But that is gold. Getting my words jumbled up. I'm that excited. This is going to be our fourth... Fourth bit of gold. And of course, oh, there he is right there. That's so cool. It is just so cool. I've done a lot of, uh, a lot of gold detecting to begin with. But I'll tell you what, I haven't really realized just how much I've missed it. You know, like I've been stuck on uh, the coins and relics and not so much stuck on. I don't say that in a bad way. Uh, but look, I've been doing a lot of coins and relics over the last six years. And we've got over 300 videos out with coins and relics and i'm getting back to them i promise however i'm just having so much fun on the gold lately it's really enjoyable it's not just because it's gold but it's just that patience and persistence at detecting and it pays off i always like to see how the hard work pay off and there it is right there all that hard work research uh, trekking the bush clearing the bush detecting and swinging away it all pays off there's our fourth bit of gold Actually only three, because Andrew's got the first bit. But that's okay. Four bits of gold at a site that we keep working and it keeps producing time and time again. Even on the windy days, the dangerous days. Let's keep going, carefully. All right, we're still on the side of the hill. We have not moved very far at all. Digging everything that moves today we are. And uh, we're just trying to listen with the wind because it's super windy as you heard before. But we're still getting the gold, which is awesome. This one was hiding in a bit of a cavity on the wall too. You can sort of see where I'm digging there. Uh, and we got out a target oh, about there before. We dug another bit, which uh, turned out to be lead. And then we dug another bit of gold up there, or we dug gold, gold, and then lead. I can't remember, a few different holes there, and we filled them in. Uh, but look, this is just humming around in that same little area. And bingo, five bits of gold today. Only four that we've got on us, so remember we gave the first one to Andrew, and I hope he's found more since. So there we go. Another little bit of gold, and another bit of gold that I've missed on this hill, and that's why I'm revisiting it again. We have done it with the 9-inch Coiltech Gold Hawk Mono before. But look, it just pays to give it another go and see what else we can come out with. Oh, it's small. Oh, it's tiny. But there is our number, if I can pick him up. <laughs> number six bit of gold, I think. I think we've got five in the pocket now and uh, one that we gave there to Andrew before. So that makes six technically, uh, but only five for us today so far. Let's just hope Andrew's on the gold as I said before, and hopefully Andrew's finding heaps. And that guy is only tiny. He's the smallest one that we've found yet today, uh, but I don't expect anything less. The GPEX 6000 here by Mine Lab, and especially running the Goldhawk 9-inch Mono Coil Tech Coil. Well, I tell you, it is absolute killer combination. It's like when you're hunting uh, out for coins and relics, and uh, you use the uh, little 10 by 5 coil tech coil, or you even use the little 6 inch round mine lab coil uh, on the uh, equinoxes. They are just an absolute killer combination. So let's put our gold into the pouch. I can hear Andrew up there bashing up the bush. Let's hope he's on the gold as well. Let's keep going. Right now, guys, where well, we're still plodding along, I'm going to uh, stop for a break in a minute. However, we're down on the creek, as you can see. We've got the water right beside us. We're pretty much standing on the water. We're walking on water. And I sort of proved the point there uh, with my 30 ounce nugget why you should detect under logs and move uh, sticks and logs and trees out of the way. I can't move this one, unfortunately. But what I am getting in the area that I can swing at, where'd he go? Give you a ground balance. I'm getting a nice signal under there anyway. I haven't actually went around the other side to see if it's any better. Oh, no, it's not. <laughs> any better access. So this is the best we're going to get. Uh, but look, uh, 
Just going to clear it away. Hopefully, fingers crossed, it is gold. Now look where we are. It should be. Surely, it's not lead. But you just never know. So we're going to try and do this the best we can without losing our gold down into the creek. And we'll come back, and we are going to give you a look what this signal is. I said there the other week, the hard work, I tell you what, pays off. It's certainly going to pay off. Oh, that sounds good. Certainly going to pay off if this is gold, because that'll be our seventh bit. Let's see what we got. I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I'm going to do it. All right, we've got him. We've got our target. Ready? Oh, it sounds rather goldish, doesn't it? And Andrew's got a signal for me to check out too. So we're going to go up the hill. No one... Well, no one make me lose this, will you? No one move. Oh, no one push me over. <laughs> Let's get up here. Let's see Andrew. That wind is really getting out of hand too. Oh, I was just looking at Andrew with a bit of a scared look on my face. <laughs> Because, yeah, oh, it's actually sort of quieting down. Oh, it's, it's looking good over to the left here, Andrew. Yeah. It's nice and peaceful and quiet. Yeah, yeah. And then you look over here. Wild. <laughs> the Wild West. All right, let's have a look. Did not lose him. How good's that? Do you want to film? Don't be rattly. Oh. You're all right, you're all right. I'll move. Righto, let's have a look. Hang on, I've got to get my fingers out of it. Yeah, keep your fingers out of the way. This is gold, Andrew. Hope so. What's that, a tenth bit? Seventh. Seventh bit. I'm not lying. That's if it's gold. It should be. Oh, turn the camera around now. That's what I'm talking about. It's wild, it's crazy. It's gonna blow away our gold. Oh, Andrew. What? Gold's not supposed to be round. You threw it out. Oh, we'll, we'll just keep the lead instead. <laughs> okay. I do I do have something really cool though. Check this out. That sounds heavy. And then, check this out. Ready? That's a rock I dropped this morning. Rock on? I call him the blanker. The blanker? The blanker. Can't see nothing. Can't see nothing. Nothing. But there's going to be gold in that. That's a sandstone we yeah. always get the gold out of. Yeah. That's what the miners were here crushing up. Yeah. So there's going to be gold in that. What do you got? Nothing. Oh, oh. I know he had a slippery loop going down the hill. <laughs> I nearly lost you then. Pachung. That is super slippery. Now I've got a target, right? Yeah. It was a nice soft target, and I've scraped off that much and it's come out. And I can't, uh, whether it's too small, when I put it in the scoop, it's not... Hearing it? Not hearing it properly. Yeah, right. So I'm wondering whether the sniffy would come across and sniff it out. Let's have a look. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's go, go sniff it out. Uh, we're sniffy. Alrighty, well there is our next one guys and we are nearly about to pack up and get out of here. It's just about to come on one o'clock very soon and well, we have, uh, well, Zave has a doctor's appointment this afternoon, doesn't he? So I've got to get Zave off to a doctor's appointment, so I need to get out of the bush early, unfortunately. So look, next bit of gold though, I think number seven, number eight, and we've still got those uh, stones. <gasps> oh no, we've done it again I think, have we? No, we've still got a gold in there. Phew, I've got to be more careful with that bottle. And we've still got our gold uh, inside those rocks that we've got to crush up. One rock being in the container. I hope he's still in the container. And one rock still in the pants there. I know he's there because I can feel him. I just hope we didn't lose any gold then. Looks good. Five, six, seven, I think. I didn't really count properly. But we'll run the detector back over here just to make sure that we didn't drop any before we move on. Yoink. 
All right, we've made our way across the uh, the tree log there. We wandered across. It was slippery. We were careful. Have we made it across safely? I just want to do the last 40 minutes of detecting uh, up on this hill because you can see all the quartz boulders and uh, stones that the miners have uh, pushed down and rolled down, obviously dug out of the ground. So look, we might just move a little bit of stuff because we're perched up on the side of the hill here. So we might just move a bit of stuff, get a bit of a swing in there in amongst the bracken, see if we can't get a signal. Radio Andrew, how you been going, mate? No good, mate. No good? A lot of clearing for the 6,000, that's about it. Mate. Oh, I better get in there then, better I? No, you better. What's the time? I've got half an hour? Well, you have got... I was joking. 25 minutes, mate. Oh, jeez. You better run. I better go find number two nugget for you. Yeah, you better. <laughs> yeah, you found number one for So me. you've got... You haven't found anything else? No. Bugger. Lead. 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 Okay. Shitload of lead. Well, if you're finding lead, uh, potentially it could be gold. So look, uh, that's all I've been doing for the last probably hour or so too. Yeah, I so, what do you reckon we call it a day? It's nearly one o'clock. Yeah. Time to get out of here. I'm and, going um, down to see you to tell you I'm going back to the car. <laughs> you were going to walk off, were you? Yeah, I was going to come and yell out. I'm going to the car. I've had enough oh, of this shit. Had enough. <laughs> uh, what do you always say? If you want um, stress and anxiety and yeah, buy a metal detector. De depression, <laughs> buy a metal detector. <laughs> go, go looking for gold. <laughs> Uh, it can be like that some days. We've uh, we've got a bit in our pocket, Andrew, and we've got some stones. Oh, dropping the scoop. We've got some stones to crush up when we get home. So we'll do it. We'll get back to the car, and uh, we'll see at home. We'll crush them up and see just our, what have we got out for today. Do 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 do. It's hammer time, Andrew. Hammer and rock on. Let's do it right at the back doorstep because I know Helena will love it. Make a mess right here, shall we? Actually, let's get our small one out too. It's about to start raining, Andrew. Don't sneeze them. Two, four, six. We don't even have the scales ready. Nothing in that one. Nothing in that? I beg to differ. Put him down. Let's hammer him. Get the big guy. This one's got me grammar. Ready? Ready to see gold? Oh, there it is. I can see it. Oh, big chunk. Look at the sneaky little devil. Hey? There we go. Let's zoom you in. We can all see better. <laughs> we need to zoom in. That's cool. That is cool. Look how shiny it is. I love the shiny gold. It's very gold looking. That's our biggest piece for today, too. So there's seven bits over on the ground. Right, do the honours, Andrew. Hammer time. Oh dear, where is it? All right, go with that bit again. I don't actually know which bit it's going to be in. You the man. <laughs> now where is it? All right, try that one. He doesn't look, he doesn't look gold bearing enough. That guy. This guy looks gold bearing. This is the hardest bit. If it's a big bit though, we should spot him easily. No, nah, <laughs> not in there. Should be really big, shouldn't it? Should be. It was singing like it was making the detector. Yeah, it was screaming, wasn't it? Blank out. Smash them all up. This is the funnest bit, I, I swear to God. I look forward to this bit. It's always exciting because you never know what you're going to get. Nothing. <laughs> Let's try this one. Give me a shot. It'll be in this one, I bet you. No. Nah. It'll be in this one, I bet you. No. This one, I bet you. No. Nah. Oh, no, it's in this one, I reckon, Andrew. Must be. We ain't got much more to go. <laughs> We're running out of rock. <laughs> it's not in that one, Andrew. Oh, it's got to be in this last one. I knew it. There it is. Where? No, oh. No. Geez, you got good eyes. Oh, the stonker. It's not a bad size little piece, is Let's it? Let's put him up on the knee. <laughs> Mate, that's a cracker. Half a grammar. <laughs> oh, I don't think so. Maybe 0.20. 
He's got dirt on him too, so we should. Uh, why aren't I finding them bugs? <laughs> yeah, where, where's your goal for today? Well, you got one bit. <laughs> oh, what a stonker! So there we go, eight pieces. And of course, it was in the last piece that we cracked open. Uh, so we need to get the scales now. We need to do a way up. See exactly what we've got out for today. <laughs> Won't move the scales. Oh, I hope it does. You want to throw yours on first? You want me to throw mine on first? You show me yours, I'll show you mine. Okay. <laughs> That's mine right there. Oh, it didn't even weigh. We don't want that. 0.3, Oh, I think that wind's mucking us up. Honestly, I think the wind blows on the pan and it throws the weight around. I know it sounds silly. 0.5. 0.5, 0.6. It's having a bit of a moment there. About 0 0.5, 0 0.6 we'll call that. And we'll take off Andrew's piece. I'm going to put the pan back on, just see if it will. Yeah, look at that. Oh, zero, zero, zero. I was going to say, it's been a little bit funny. Let's put all our small bits on first. One, two, three. Rattle them into the middle. They weigh more. They don't, but I just like to think that. Three, and we haven't even noticed the, the scales tip. Four, five, and they're still not moving. Half by four, oh four. What is going on? Point six. No, we're going to have more than that. Yeah. Yeah, look at them. They're all over the place. They are so inaccurate, it's not funny. One, one. <laughs> what? One, six, oh six. What is going on? All right, let's take these off again. I don't trust these scales very much at all. We probably should be doing this inside too, because I swear the wind... We're sort of uh, hitting a little alcove at the moment at the front door, but I reckon that wind is throwing the scales around. 0 0.20, 0 0.23, that looks better. 0.25, and the big daddies, 0.40, come on, 0 0.39, and the biggest guy, 0.53. Yeah, we'll call it 0.53. Yeah. So look, very, very good day. I'm happy with that. Uh, a bit over half a gram we've got, and you've seen uh, some of them come out in amongst the sandstone there. And look, I'm not gonna clean that up. I think that looks good at the back door. We're gonna leave that for Helena. She'll, she'll clean it up. So, <laughs> I'm joking. I'll clean up my mess. Actually, let's put all this dirt into the little ute, because that'll look cool. Well, thought it'd look better than that. But that's what we're gonna do. Clean up our mess, pack up here, as you see, eight bits of gold. Uh, for me, one bit for Andrew. We cracked the half a gram, and next time we're out, hopefully we crack the full, go uh, full gram, and I look forward to seeing you there. And be sure to hit that like, comment, and subscribe button. We'll be back out on the gold next time. Cheers, guys. Happy hunting.